Two days ago, this image was posted on the NIFL subreddit, and uh, it's a lie. Some people think it's some kind of lantern shark, like maybe a ninja lantern shark. Well, I have some lantern sharks. This is what my lantern shark looks like. Admittedly, it's a little different. Something's going on with the eye there. Also, the jaws look totally different as well. Now, these could be completely different species, of course, or something else could be going on. This image was posted with the caption, Aussie fisherman caught strange-looking shark at a depth of 2,133 feet underwater, which is... Suspicious. <laughs> 2,133 feet is um, a heck ton of fishing line. That's well over a quarter mile. Now, I'm not a fisherman. I spend my time doing other things, playing baseball, catching bugs, video games, little Magic the Gathering, nerd stuff. It seems a little unethical to me to be fishing that deep underwater. Like, what are you trying to do? Catch like an angler fish meal or something? But the more important thing that is not communicated in this photo or the caption that goes along with it is the fact that animals that are brought up from deep deep in, in the depths of the ocean to the surface often undergo uh, body shape changes because of pressure differences. A great example is a blobfish. Blobfish live uh, between 2,000 and 4,000 feet underwater. And because of this photo, everyone thinks this is what a blobfish looks like. This is what a grotesquely swollen blobfish looks like that was taken from a very high pressure environment deep at the bottom of the ocean to a relatively low pressure environment at the top of the ocean. It changed environments way too quickly and became massively disfigured, which is what this is. Here's a video from EV Nautilus. It's one of my favorite YouTube channels. It's a live blobfish underwater. This is what they normally look like. Here's a photo for a better view. Totally different than this guy. Imagine if an alien took you to outer space and your head exploded and your eyes popped out and your, your arms were all mangled because of whatever space does to your body. And then the alien took a bunch of photos of you and posted it on Facebook and was like, yo, boys, look at this weird animal that I found. It's so freaking ugly, lamau. <laughs> That's the story of this blobfish. So if this shark was caught 2,133 feet deep in, in a net or a reel or something like that and was brought to the surface, it would have gone through some massive like body um, disfiguration or something like that just based on the pressure differences between those two environments. Photos of deep sea creatures like this are often posted onto social media and people are like, oh my gosh, nature is so incredible. Um, when the truth is that it's a photo of an animal that was extremely disfigured because it changed environments really quickly and some sometimes as a result of it being captured and killed, unfortunately. Sometimes, and this is where things get a little juicy, sometimes the animals were intentionally disfigured. Have you ever heard of a hagfish before? It's a very weird eel-like fish, and every now and then people are posting these images of hagfish online that look like this. Their teeth look crazy. Now, I have a ton of hagfish, and I'm gonna pull one out and let's look at its mouth, it doesn't really look like that. They look like this instead, those teeth aren't out. These photos are most likely from people who caught hagfish and inverted their jaws out to make a more interesting image. They could be part of some scientific research or they could be part of someone that just took a hagfish and was like, yeah, and just shoved its teeth out so that it looked pretty gnarly for a photo. I'm pretty sure that the same thing happens with cookie cutter sharks. A lot of photos of cookie cutter sharks out of the water look like this, but any photo of a cookie cutter shark underwater looks like this. You can't really see their teeth at all. There are even tons of images of people online that are like peeling back their lips to expose their teeth. They'll literally like cut the mouth open a little right here and just like peel them back. This is, this is a cookie cutter shark. Yeah. They're intentionally manipulated for the photo, so we completely misunderstand what they actually look like in real life. It's highly unlikely that this shark actually looks like this. Is this a problem or is it fine? See, on one hand, you have a bunch of people misunderstanding what an animal looks like, misinformation going out there, and potentially an animal being like mutilated or kind of torn apart for the sake of a really interesting photograph. That sounds terrible. But on the other hand, you have potentially a group of people being interested in an animal, interested in nature or the environment where they otherwise might not be. Is it super damaging? Is it fine? I honestly go both ways. I don't really know if this is an issue or not. It's just something that a lot of people were talking about online. So I wanted to toss it over to you guys. What do you think? That's it. See you guys tomorrow.